Tonight, CARE 11 investigates the disturbing past of an animal trainer who recently moved to Minnesota. Former colleagues allege the trainer abused and neglected exotic animals, and he is the subject of an investigation by a federal agency. Tonight, CARE 11's Brad Woodard follows the trail that brought Jungle Josh here. <laughs> How is it that we can marvel at their dignity in the wild <laughs> and yet delight in their antics when man's closest relative is placed in unnatural surroundings? Consider for a moment the possibility that what seems like harmless entertainment sometimes is in fact not. <laughs> hey, sit down! An island on a rural Minnesota pond seems an unlikely place for a great ape to roam, but Tarzan, a nine-year-old male chimpanzee, Hop on. Was brought here just over a year ago by animal trainer Josh Weinstein. No, no. Sit normal. Experts say there's nothing normal about a chimp sitting in a canoe. They can't swim and are deathly afraid of water. Oh, he's pretty much like a son to me. So who is Josh Weinstein? Uh, oh, I just... An animal trainer and uh, I guess an actor and a performer, a little bit of everything. They came in peace. Weinstein, who's acted in the film Mars Attacks, among other projects, says he has 35 animals at his disposal, but declined our requests to see where they were housed. I'd just rather not shoot the cages. He says he hires them out through his company, Safari Wildlife, to the television and motion picture industry, but that now he's focusing his attention on a new comedy act that he hopes to take to nightclubs. Jungle Josh and the Wild Ones. You paid for the whole seat, but you'll only need the edge. All right, come on, buddy. We invited Jungle Josh and his Wild Ones to our studio for a sampling. The act features a pig, a woodchuck, and a lion. But the star of the show is Tarzan. This is our big break, and you're out here in this cheap, tacky gorilla suit. Although Take it quickly becomes apparent that star treatment is not the only kind of treatment Tarzan receives. Good. Stand up. <laughs> don't, be a, don't start being a turd now. Hey, can we do it right at the first time? It wasn't so much Tarzan's performances that stood out, <laughs> but what at times led up to them. Hold it up. Hold it. Miss Dolly Parton. Okay, okay, cut it for a second. Hold it. Hold it here. Stay. Now keep in mind, Weinstein is fully aware our cameras are rolling. Okay, go ahead and start it again. Okay. Oh, this is so full. We asked two of the world's leading authorities on chimpanzee behavior Hold to it. view portions talk, of talk. Tarzan's performance. It's just misery. Dr. Jane Goodall has been studying chimps in the wild for more than 40 years. Sit down. But he's not like, it's not like any chimp I've ever seen. Dr. Roger Fouts has studied chimps for 35 years and communicates with them through sign language. He's scared to death of this guy. Talk, 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 talk. See how talk, he flinched then when the... Talk, 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 talk. What does that tell you? Stay. That he's scared. Talk, talk. Light it. Ah. Light it. And the chimp was anticipating, um, you know, uh, being struck or, or being punished in some fashion. I mean, you don't just flinch for no reason. Bounce and Goodall say those familiar chimp grins are in fact displays of fear and that what they witnessed on tape constitutes abuse. Doesn't know what to do, he's completely bewildered. He thinks he knows what he's supposed to be doing, but he, he gets it wrong all the time. Okay, yeah, okay cut it for a second. I, I think that, uh, you know, my relationship with the animals speaks for itself. Uh, I think it's obvious that, uh, you know, that I love the animals and that they're well cared for. Alex! Which brings us to events preceding Josh's decision to move to Minnesota. The story begins here in Las Vegas in the mid-90s, where Josh hoped to join the ranks of the top entertainers on the legendary strip. But instead of finding stardom, he found trouble. In fact, the head of Las Vegas Animal Control says his agency eventually stopped issuing Weinstein permits to display his animals because he didn't play by the rules and was an accident waiting to happen. Good afternoon, thanks for joining us. A tiger attacked and killed its trainer last night. A fear that was confirmed in March of 2001. I was able uh, to uh, shove my arm in his mouth and pry him off. Tell me about Eric Bloom. 
Uh, well, uh, Eric was a, a trainer that uh, I worked with uh, who unfortunately uh, was caught in a very, very unusual situation. The tiger jumped up behind and bit him on the neck and killed him. And what was your reaction when you heard that? You and Eric were pretty close, weren't you? Yeah. I kind of need to stop. Bloom's former girlfriend, 19-year-old Maylee Mallory, says she started training animals with Weinstein at age 11. His care for the animals, it's nowhere near what it should be. Um, I saw him many times not feed the animals. Horrific abuse, exploitation to the max, and a total disregard for animal safety. Jonathan Kraft runs a wolves. sanctuary for exotic animals in Kingman, Arizona. You got your ball? He says he allowed Josh to house his animals at a facility he previously owned in Las Vegas. It was perhaps the biggest mistake I ever made. I mean, not feeding animals for three, four days at a time, thawing their food out that is frozen in a 110 degree temperature that would lay there for two and three days in the heat till the flies would no longer sit on it. That's how bad it was. While there are numerous USDA inspection reports citing inadequate conditions at Weinstein's Safari Wildlife Facility, the USDA declined our request for an interview, stating that it has an open investigation into Weinstein for possible violations of the Animal Welfare Act. But a former USDA inspector familiar with Weinstein's USDA case agreed to talk. In many cases, his facility was below the minimum requirements of the Animal Welfare Act. And though that's what I documented. One inspection report also noted that Weinstein had not been approved as having sufficient training or experience to exhibit a chimpanzee in situations involving direct contact with the public. So there's no risk to the audience? Uh, I don't believe so. Well, you know, I don't believe so. Uh, you know, uh, obviously nothing in life is risk free. Hey, good boy. Yeah. I can't play with you right now. Yeah. I saw him beat Tarzan with a fist, with a stick whatever he had in range. Sarah Roy says she worked for Josh nearly three years in Las Vegas. In all that time, I've never seen one animal that he's taking care of the way it should be. As far as Tarzan goes, yeah, I saw him hit him a lot, literally beat him. I saw Tarzan go days without food, and for a chimp, that's a long time. While there is no indication that it's the result of abuse or neglect, how is Tarzan doing? I'm sorry, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Sources tell us Tarzan died earlier this month. Something Weinstein won't confirm. Is Tarzan dead? I'm or deny? I'm going to have to ask you to leave. We'll gladly leave. I'm sorry to hear about Tarzan. I really am. Brad Woodard, Care 11 News, Stacy. By the way, Jagger, the tiger that killed Eric Bloom, is now at Weinstein's facility in Minnesota. Josh says Get Jagger has retired from showbiz and will be used for breeding.